Uh, in this video, we will learn about the use of modeler in QGIS to create a model that can do a series of operations within just few clicks that could have cost us a lot of time. Okay, let's talk about today's model. We will develop a model that will help us to locate the area suitable for paddy cultivation. In actual field, doing this will require lots of parameters such as solar radiation, water table, soil data, quality of seed, land use data and lots of other parameters. However, this video is for educational purpose and is just a simple demonstration of how to do modeling in QGIS. Um, and for this example, we will use land use data, soil data and the slope data that we will generate using this DEM. Uh, a suitability values ranging from 1 to 10 has been given for each feature with 10 being the best for paddy cultivation and 1 for one as a worst case scenario. A value of 1 has been given to water body, sand, forest, bush and a value of 5 has been given to grass areas while a value of perfect 10 has been given to cultivation land areas. And similarly for soil data, similar suitability classification has been done depending on the type of soil. Um, the suitability value in this case also ranges from 1 to 10 just like in land use. And later on we will generate slope from this DM file and we will reclassify that slope file to get the suitability values for a particular range of slopes. We will convert these two shape file into rasters based on the suitability values and after that we will have three rasters one for land use another one for soil and, an and another one for slope and we will use raster calculator to uh, produce one final single output raster from these three raster layers and while doing that we will take an average of those three rasters so that the final output raster will have grid values equal to the average suitability score produced from these three raster layers and on the basis of that we will decide which part of area is it suitable for cultivation purpose uh, to open the model <coughs> sorry to open the model click on processing and then click on graphical modeler or right click on toolbar and then click on processing toolbox here you can see gear like thing click on it and then click on create new model <coughs> okay uh, okay at first we are going to convert a raster into slope click on this and drag here let's give it a suitable name we'll call it input input raster and now we will search for slope algorithm uh, here you can see there are two types one for input and another one for algorithms okay the input raster layer is this one which has already been taken by the system now we will rename it as slope okay the box in the yellow is for input and the box in green is for output while this one is for processing now we need to reclassify this slope and for that we need to have a reclassification table and for that click on input and then click on matrix drag here We'll rename it as a reclassification table. This one is for column. For a slope between 0 to 3 degrees, we'll give a value of 10 and for a slope 
between 3 to 9 degrees will give a value 5 and value of 1 and a value of 1 for slope greater than 9 degrees okay click on ok so this one is our reclassification table now we need to reclassify it now we are going to reclassify the slope in raster layer click on slope the reclassification table has automatically been selected okay this is our suitable range boundaries okay everything looks good now let's rename it as reclassified slope click on ok now uh, what we have done is we have select we have uh, taken a raster layer as an input convert it into slope and then produce a sl slope as an output and we have generated a reclassification table use it to convert the slope into reclassified form and this is the corresponding output okay the next thing that we'll be doing is convert the soil layer into the raster on the basis of its suitability values click on input click on vector features and drag it here here we will name it as input soil layer geometry type polygon and then click on ok so uh, if you remember there were many fields in in the attribute table of soil so we need to select a particular field to burn to create the layer into raster so click on vector field and drag it here let's name it field to burn soil parent layer input soil layer uh, okay our suitability value were numbers so we're gonna click on number default value 1 and then click on ok now the next thing is we need to specify the cell size of raster so for that click on number and drag it here let's name it as cell size of raster minimum value 5 we'll set the maximum value to 50 default value 30 click on ok now click on algorithm and search for rasterize and drag it here and for the input we will have input soil layer this layer as, as our input and fill to use for a burning value we will select this one and size uh, output for output uh, raster size unit click on this one and for the resolution we will take input from the model in the form of this one for that click on 1 2 3 and then click on model input it has automatically selected this one and again click on this and click on model input it has automat automatically selected this input now for input uh, sorry for the output extend click on extent of input soil layer for no data and no data value we'll give value minus 9999 okay everything looks good now let's name it as rasterize soil click on ok and 
and we do the similar process for land use layer as well drag it here let's name it input input land use layer geometry type polygon click on ok vector field uh -huh. field to burn land use Now we have our required rasters, reclassified slope, rasterized soil, and rasterized land use. These all three represent suitability values for slope, for soil, and for land use corresponding way. Now we will use raster calculator to calculate an average of these three raster layers. For that, search for raster calculator. Okay. Uh, the rust the <coughs> sorry. <coughs> the raster layer that we produce using the rasterization process. Actually, there were two files for land use and for soil, but in this. Uh, raster calculator it doesn't show two different raster layers it's because we didn't name it correctly so for that Now it shows two different rasterized layers after we change the name by adding soil and land use to each files. Now we compute an average of three files. One is for soil, another one is land use and another one is slope for reference layer we'll click on these three line is soil and reclassified slope Let's give a suitable name. And let's save it. Okay, it's done. 
Now let's run it. Now uh, the next step is to add the model that we have just created in this toolbox. For that, click here and then click on add model to toolbox. Select this model and then click on open. Okay. Now the model has been added here. Now click on this. Select the necessary layers. Land use, raster, soil, field to burn this one. For this it's this one. Let's check the reclassification table. Okay. This is one. Okay. Okay, everything looks good. Now let's run it. So everything looks good. Okay, this is our slope. This one is our rasterized soil. This is our reclassified slope. And this one is reclassified land use. And this one is our output. This one is our major output. Now let's change this color. Okay. Uh, if you remember, I had previously said that the value of 10 represented the best case scenario while the value of 1 represented the worst case scenario for cultivation. All this area, all these green areas in this layer represents the suitable areas for cultivation and all these purple areas represents the unsuitable areas for cultivation purpose so this is how we uh, we can do the modeling in processing uh, sorry in graphical modeler in QGIS